but I'm telling you, the reason I'm all I, I keep kicking this dead horse, the reason I want I want you brothers to understand what what I'm saying is because I don't want you making the same mistake that I did. I don't want you wasting your time, you know, you know, chasing the trinkets instead of chasing your purpose. Is it not written in your law that ye are God? You understand what I'm saying? So it just depends on what level you own based on, uh, or what level you own based on uh, whether you're human or whether you're immortal. At ease. I am soul. The power of pursuit. Definite purpose misunderstood. Today, brothers, man, I was uh I was reading, you know, one of my all-time favorites, man, uh, the Master Key System, Charles Handel. And I was in part 17, uh, number 26, man. I'm gonna read it to you. It says, every obstacle conquered, every victory gained will give you more faith in your power. And you will have greater ability to win. It says your strength is determined by your mental attitude. And if this attitude is one of success and is permanently held with an unwavering purpose, you will attract you from the invisible domain, the things that you silently demand. Now, the reason I want to talk about this, man, is because what I'm starting to understand from, you know, just talking to brothers during consultations, from just talking to brothers, you know, you know, just chopping it up on a, regular basis. I'm starting to understand the, the missing link is in the middle. Like, like when it comes to winning, which I, I use that term loosely, when it comes to winning in life and achieving our goals and all that stuff, a lot of people understand the first part. Like, like when we tell brothers, you know, I said, brother, you know, like first, you know, you have to know what it is you want, you know, like, like you have to know what, you know, you have to have a goal that you're going towards, right? So brothers will go out and observe the world and see what kind of things they like, what kind of places they want to live, what kind of, what kind of woman they want to have in their life, right? And they'll say, you know what, this, this is what, this is, this is my goal. This is my dream life, right? And then we'll start talking about the whole manifestation process, right? And, and we can go from, you know, writing it down to the whole, taking it from the third to the fifth dimension to the whole, you know, uh, breaking down what meditation is like and, and, and how the creative process works. And you can all find that in the recipe if you haven't seen it. Right. But what I'm, what I'm starting to see brothers, you know, miss the bus is right there in the middle, you know, right when I start talking about, you know, what prayer is and, and how to, and how to step into your prayer and never come out, you know, the whole acting is ill process, the whole shebang, right? Like, like a, some brothers can start moving in that direction, but, but then they, it, it gets kind of confusing because when it comes to definite purpose, that's where a lot of people, a lot of people mess up, right? Because what a lot of people think is, what a lot of people think is that definite purpose is in the things, right? In other words, what I'm trying to say is like a lot of people, and when I say people miss the middle, a lot of people will, you know, they'll set their goals, they'll start meditation. So their vibration will start raising. The vibration will start changing to the world that they're building, right? But once they start vibrating there and they start seeing people vibrate in that, that same arena, they get confused. But because, because you can easily start, you know, elevating. And once you start looking around and you see people moving a certain way that are already there, you, you know, you, you see them having a certain thing. You see them do, uh, making certain kind of moves. And, and, instead of, and instead of understanding what definite purpose is, you, you start moving like the end result of other people, right? This is what I mean. Like it's easy to, it's easy to, to, to elevate and, and to see people move. And all of a sudden you start saying, okay, you know, no, you know, if I want to be moving in my definite purpose, you know, I need to go get the rings and the watches. Like, like that's what definite purpose is. But I'm telling you brothers, if you, if you think that you will miss the entire bus, because what you don't understand when you see people that have certain rewards in life or certain uh, uh, trinkets in life, if you don't understand the full, the full, the full uh, uh, way this thing is supposed to work, brothers, I'm telling you, you'll miss the bus. And it's easy to get on social media, man, and, and, and lose, lose focus and fall in that trap. You know what I'm saying? For example, I got a partner over in the UK, man. Let me give a shout out to uh, my brother James. Just start a new YouTube channel, James Lake Show. Check them out, man. Brother, brother's putting out fire content on a regular basis. 
But it's it's easy to it's easy to uh uh go to an Instagram page like like the James Lake Show, man. And you see James, man, he's always taking pictures, man, like loving pictures with his family. He's in nice places, a nice crib, he got a fat, badass Lambo. It's easy to say, you know what? Okay, now I have my dreams and my goal, my goals. Now I see a, a James in the world. Now I see, you know, people that are moving like this, that are achieving things. Like now I just need to to emulate the end result. So what people are doing, what people are doing is they're going from from mind straight to emulation without without really understanding the power in the pursuit, not understanding the power in in definite purpose. I'm gonna read the next part, number twenty seven. It says this. By keeping the thought in mind, it will gradually take tangible form. A definite purpose sets calls in motion, which goes out into the invisible world and finds the material necessary to serve your purpose. Brothers, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the step that most brothers are missing. This is the step that most brothers are missing. I'm telling the power is in the pursuit. The power is in definite purpose. The power is in the journey. Your love for a thing is in the journey. Because when you when you find when you when you when you don't go that route, brothers, and when you go from mind to, to material things, I'm telling you, man, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before before you meet downfall, man. I'm gonna read the next verse, brothers. Or the next the next one. Number 28. It says, You may be pursuing the symbols of power instead of the power itself. You may be pursuing fame instead of honor, riches instead of wealth. Position instead of servitude. In either event, you will find that they've turned to ashes just as you overtake them. Now, brothers, I know I talk about this all the time. I know I talk about not falling in love with things or, you know, that you have to understand, brothers, things are, are a byproduct of purpose. At no point in time, I say, brothers, let's not win, man. I say, I, I just said it the other day, man, let's get the biggest houses. Let's get the biggest you know, all that stuff. But I'm telling you, the reason I'm all, I, I keep kicking this dead horse, the reason I want, I want you brothers to understand what, what I'm saying is because I don't want you making the same mistake that I did. I don't want you wasting your time, you know, you know, chasing the trinkets instead of chasing your purpose. Because like this says, it says you will find that they quickly turn to ashes just as you overtake them. I've told my story a million times when, I, when I've hit certain pinnacles in life. And I had all the trinkets and the, the you know, all the, these nice things in life, e even a nice fat bank account, like life was good. And I felt empty. I felt empty. It's because I missed the major step. I missed definite purpose. I'm telling you, brothers. I'm telling you, brothers, th this is everything, man. This is everything. What the next line say? It says premature wealth or position cannot be retained uh, because it has not been earned. We get only what we give. And those who try to get without giving always find that the law of compensation is relentlessly bringing about uh, an exact equilibrium. What is that saying, brothers? It's saying you have to give to get. Like, like, like the, the part of winning, you know, to win, you have to give. A lot of people just want to look successful, man. You have to give a service. Like, what are you willing to give the world? If you aren't willing to give the world a service or a part of your mind or some part of you, but you, but you want to win, brother, it is, it is impossible. I'm going to read that again. It says premature wealth. In other, in other words, going from mind to, to emulation without having purpose, without giving something back. It says premature wealth or position cannot be retained because it has not been earned. We get only what we give. And those who try to get without giving always, it is say sometimes, it says always find that the law of compensation is relentlessly bringing about an exact equilibrium. That true world will come find itself, brother. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't, don't put these things, don't put these things out front because like the world will calibrate itself. If you're going out and get all these material things like I did at one point in time, that world, my, my true world, when I wasn't really giving back, it came to see me, man. I'm telling you, but it's a real thing. And all I'm saying is, I just don't want you brothers going through that. I don't want you, you brothers going through that, man. That's a, that's a, it's painful and it takes a lot of time to overcome that, man. So just find purpose in moving that. So 
if I'm going to sit there and say that the power is in pursuit, if I'm going to sit there and say that, that, you know, uh, uh, definite purpose is misunderstood, then, then what is definite purpose? How does a man move in this definite purpose? It would be almost disrespectful to not go to the book uh, Outwitting the Devil to talk about this, right? Now, y'all are familiar with Outwitting the Devil, uh, Napoleon Hill. Mine is about gone. Mine is falling apart. I, I got I to gotta order a new one. It's just that this one has uh, my highlights in it, right? So when we're talking about, uh, when we're talking about definite purpose, you know, we have to first talk about a drifter, right? You know, now, now out when the devil talks about the man that is drifting, the man is just living aloof, the man is just floating around, right? And it says that the only way to combat uh, a, a, a drifting lifestyle is to become a man of definite purpose, right? And on page 93, it says, uh, you have given me a graphic description of the drifter. Now, please describe the non-drifter so that I might recognize him on site. It says this, the first sign of a non-drifter is this. Let me take a drink, brothers. My drink today is pomegranate juice. Breakfast of champions. It says the first sign of a non-drifter is this. He is always engaged in doing something definite. Through some well-organized plan, which is definite. He has a major goal in life towards which he is always working. And minor goals. It says, and many minor goals all of which lead toward his central scheme, the tone of his voice, the quickness of his step, the sparkle in his eyes, the quickness of his decision clearly marks him as a person who knows exactly what he wants and is determined to get it. No matter how long it takes, uh, it says no matter how long it may take or what price he must pay. Brothers, we have to be men of purpose. We have to be men of definite purpose, man. We have to be men of definite purpose. The one thing that stood out, it says he is always doing something definite. He is always, brothers, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can't even remember the last time that, that, that my life, my day didn't consist of something definite. Now, of course, you know what, to be honest, I find myself drifting sometimes. Sometimes if I, if I do something, man, out of the ordinary, if I go and hang out with people that I don't normally hang out, or if I go consume a certain, you know, thing, that I normally don't, sometimes it can throw me off, man. And I can feel myself floating back, you know, starting to drift. And I'll get back on point. But when I'm in that zone, brothers, everything has to go towards a purpose. Like I'm telling you from sunup to sundown, if I'm doing it, it has to go towards some end goal, man. It has to go toward, even in my downtime, even, even if I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to relax. I'm just going to relax and chill for the rest of the day and, and watch a movie. Even the entertainment that I choose to watch, you know, it, it's not the entertainment. It still, it still has to go toward, toward helping me grow toward my end goal, man. Be a def, me and a definite purpose, brothers. It said everything that you do has to go toward, uh, toward it goes toward his, his central scheme. Everything has to go toward that, brother. The tone of his voice, the quickness, the quickness of his step, the sparkle in his eyes, the quickness of his decisions clearly mark him as a person who knows exactly who. You know, I can't, I can't. One of my pet peeves, brother, is a person that moves throughout this world without purpose, without, 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 you know, the, the sense of they have somewhere to be, man. And, and I can really see this when I'm driving, brothers. When I'm driving, man, and someone leave, is lo leaving the light, man, they're kind of just like whistling, kind of just sightseeing. and look, Brother, that eats me up because in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you don't have nowhere to be? I'm, I'm like, you don't have nowhere to be? Like, you don't have an agenda today? Like you're, you're just floating around that bothers me, man. Or, or when I'm talking to some, somebody and we're, and we're out and about and it's just like their minds just, just shuts down from, from the end goal. Cause even when I'm relaxing, even when I'm chopping up with brothers, even when I'm having just a good old time, my conversation, every single thing is around my purpose. You know what I'm saying? Brother, even, even when you brothers get into relationships, man, even when you get into relationships, brothers, you have to understand that 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 goal, end goal, that purpose is still the main the main objective. And that's why I say you always have to get a woman that has purpose herself. But because when a woman wants to do some things like 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 when you, for example, you brothers that are married, when y'all become one, now, now you, you're you're sharing you're sharing a life with someone. So so when your woman comes to you and say, hey, you know what, let's let's go in and, and do this today or let's let's go to so and so this weekend. The first thing that needs to come to your mind is, is this, is this, is this going to help my purpose 
or is it going to help yours? Like, like it has to be helping one of our purposes or, 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 or we don't need to be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Or <laughs> you don't need to be, if your girl is into uh, uh, basket weaving and she comes to you all of a sudden, say, Hey, you know, I want to go to this, uh, uh, the, this craft stain this weekend and, and, and look at these products and look at these, you didn't say, you know what? Okay. Well, is it going to help you or help me? Like, cause if it's not, we don't need to be doing it. You know what I'm saying? You brother, every single movement of your life has to become definite, man. And I'm telling you, this is what's misunderstood. This is the missing link. People go from the whole, you know, mindset. Let's create it. Let's go spiritual fifth dimension. People can go there, but they instantly look and say, what, what are those that are winning doing? What are they buying? Well, let me just go straight there. I'm telling you, brothers, the power is in the pursuit, man. The power is in the pursuit.